this is the workbook I prepared for tomorrow's class that's gonna be on legendary uh, ninjas. So I have one version that has a blank covers. In this case, I went ahead and did an ink drawing with a black ink pen. And then I color another example. So I have this one, which is a classic dragon knight and a green dragon on the background. I did some bamboo effects and some ninja stars floating around. So they have a classic ninja on the first page that remind all the major aspects too. Then we have some pages. I did some on the dragon ninja clan. And here I pair a ninja with a magician or a spellcaster, as I call it on this one. So here I actually carry the dragon motif through three panels. Then we have a standard ninja holding a ninja star and two swords on his back. The leader that has a ninja helmet. And over here I have like a Japanese tall tower and dragon decorations that can shoot flames at intruders and such. This one we came up with a few possible ninja clans like the Mask Ninja, Fuma Ninja, Iga Ninja and Yama. And over here I use a panel transition to show how a ninja would leap from a higher ground. Then I think we have a few empty panels. This one has the basics on ninja star design and over here we have a few blank panels so the students can do their own action shots. Over here we have a couple of ninjas performing fire magic or fire jutsu. Then a few more mass designs from the classic Mortal Kombat style to the kind of devil look, hooded look and the one that just has the lower part of the face, nose and mouth cover and then have space for them to develop their own mask. Over here, the idea is to have the Water or Iga clan on this side, uh, the Fire clan or Fuma clan on this opposite page spread. Over here, we have a few more layouts for additional ninja clans. And then I think I have a few more empty panels to show ninjas jumping around and such. So, we add a few more details. Um, one of the tricks of the ninja to use card pros to deter pursuit. And just a few more blank panels towards the back. So let's see, we can go towards the front and over here. Um, we could use blue marker to stand for a pencil. And then the idea would be to actually sketch your stick figures first and then equip them with. So they can carry it over here. Then, then we can have either a sword or giant shooting can. So the blue lines are meant to represent the pencil. If you're happy with that, then we can switch to a darker color, straight blue. Kind of sign the opening on the mask. The one that just shows the eyes. Then I kind of use a helmet design and a face grill. Like a motorcycle helmet or a... I'm going to give it a bit bigger shoulders. Big sash over here. Kind of a loincloth, and over here, let's build up his upper arm muscles. Then we have like a gauntlet, here his fingertips, hold it that ninja star, and the thumb. Design some sort of back wall for him to press against. Maybe add some texture to the panels behind him.
Okay, that's enough for introductory workbook video.